it's National Macaroon Day. Who doesn't love some macaroons, am I right? So we're gonna do a pick a card reading. If you picked the first stack, here's what's up. Okay, so there is some good financial stuff coming your way. It might be coming through career, probably for the majority of you it would be, like through a job or something like that. Um, but what they're saying here is something is out of whack in your aura, okay? Um, that could lead you to either make bad decisions or delay that money coming for you. And so what they're saying is make sure that where you're giving your love, your time, your energy, um, what it is that you're really focusing on is in moderation, you know, that you're not going overboard with certain things here. I do feel like there's a lot of blessings coming your way, but, um, you could also kind of like fuck it up a little bit if you don't get these things um, back in order. So maybe do a meditation or something to get your chakras balanced. Because what they're saying here is that you're going to look like a hot mess otherwise. You've got to um, get your energy right so that when you receive these blessings that they're put to good use and not squandered. Okay. If you chose the stack number two. Um, what they're saying is to remember that all hardships give you their learning opportunities, right? Like everything that makes us stumble, everything that's a challenge is a learning opportunity. They're like, not everybody wants the same thing that you want. Not everybody wants to see you succeed. Not everybody, you know, wants the relationship that you want. They, you know, but what they're saying is that doesn't mean that you should be sad and depressed. That doesn't mean that everything is fucking falling apart. Like, oh my God, everything is in shambles. They're like, detox your energy. Um, you know, unfriend who you need to unfriend. Get rid of things. Like, go through and sort of clean and detox not only your space, but maybe even your own self. Maybe drink some lemon water all day. Um, but your energy is not necessarily attracting what it is that you want. They're like, you need to work on forgiving yourself and forgiving other people in order to restore balance. Um, and some of this needs to be like verbal expression. You might feel like an idiot standing in front of the mirror and being like, hey, I forgive you for the choices that you made. I forgive you for not learning your lessons. But they're like, everything that ever goes wrong is a learning opportunity. So um, be grateful for what you've learned instead of beating yourself up or beating up others for things that have happened, okay? Now, if you chose the stack number three, what they say here, very similar, is that, you know, conflicts are going to happen here. Um, but for you, it's like a lot of the conflicts from the past are not going to repeat themselves. Like you're in a new time and space and they say music is very healing for you. It helps you to achieve balance. They're like, you're going to find that you can walk into like this very confident place and feeling very self-assured and knowing what it is that you want. And so they're like, you know, it's not that you're egotistical if you know your worth. Stand up and say, this is who I am. This is what I have to offer. You're not an arrogant asshole if you do that. It's actually the fucking truth. You should be proud of what it is that you have to offer and what it is that you have to give and all of your knowledge. So, um, yeah. Good for you. Okay, and then stack number four. Um, so you might not be really noticed and rewarded, or at least maybe you don't feel that way in the past for all of it is that you bring to the table. However, they're saying your individuality is what, and your uniqueness, your quirks, your weirdness, what other people don't necessarily appreciate in the past, maybe they made fun of you for, is now your biggest asset. What they're saying is that this is going to lead you to your happily ever after, to all of the things that you've ever wanted, your biggest dreams, your joy. And so they're saying, get excited about this. You know, examine and um, really focus on what it is that makes you different, that makes you stand out, that maybe was something embarrassing or hard for you historically because now it is your biggest asset and it helps you to achieve all that you've ever, ever wanted. So if you chose that stack, holy shit, I think you got the best one. Happy National Macaroon Day. Enjoy some macaroons.